promotions. You're all very welcome here to the Marriott Hotel Glasgow, the first press conference ahead of the return of the Tartan Tornado, Josh Taylor, fresh from his 11th straight win in Edinburgh. Huge statement against former world champion Miguel Vasquez. Josh returns this time to Glasgow and makes the second defence of his WBC silver belt when he faces Mexico's former two times world champion, Humberto Soto. The show's titled Scotland's Finest is broadcast live on Channel 5. It's Saturday the 3rd of March at the SSE Hydro here in Glasgow. And as always, we are grateful to our sponsors, Maxi Nutrition, Ladbrokes and Volterol. Now the undercard will be broadcast live on Five Spike and headlining that show will be Jason Easton, the IBO Intercontinental Super Lightweight Champion. He aims to add another belt to his collection. The vacant Commonwealth Super Lightweight belt is on the line and Jason will face a very tough opponent, Glenn the Hammer Foot from Sunderland Tyne and Weir. Glenn Foote, 24 contests, 21 wins, 6 wins inside the distance, only 3 defeats. He is the former prize fighter champion, former English super lightweight champion, and he stepped up to welterweight in 2015 to challenge Sam Eggington for the British and Commonwealth crowns. That fight was stopped in round number 8 with an accidental head clash. He did lose that one on points, had it gone the distance, well who knows what the result would have been. He comes into the ring on the 3rd of March on the back of, some say, a contentious loss in November to the undefeated Josh Leather, over 12 rounds for the IBF European title. Glenn was considering his future after the loss, so I'm sure he's going to come to Glasgow more eager than ever to prove his talent. He also brings a massive travelling support from the Marley Potts estate in Sunderland, so for the first time, Jason is going to have um, a bit of vocal support for his opponent. Uh, the undercard will also feature IBO World Lightweight Champion Chantel Cameron. She makes the first defence of her world crown. We also have Cyclone Promotions rising star, former Scottish and British amateur champion Lightning Lee McGregor. He goes out for the third time as a professional. From the Gorbals in Glasgow, we have the very popular undefeated Scottish Super Bantamweight Champion Joe Ham. he's in action. And Josh Taylor's fellow Commonwealth gold medalist, the mailman Charlie Flynn, will return to the scene of his Commonwealth triumph. Undefeated heavyweight, Martin Bacoli, Airdrie, via the Congo, he goes for his 11th straight win. And popular East Lothian boxer from Haddington, Ian Trotter, aims to make it six on the trot. I'll pause there for laughter, I'll say that again. Ian Trotter aims to make it six on the trot. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here all day. So there'll be plenty of announcements from Cyclone Promotions regarding opponents in the coming days and so here to the main event on the line. The WBC Silver Super Lightweight Crown, the champion, the Tartan Tornado, Josh Taylor, the champion from Tijuana, Mexico, La Zorita, the little fox, Umberto Solo. 78 contests, 66 wins, 36 knockouts. Former two-weight world champion, WBC super featherweight and WBC lightweight champion of the world. So I think we're safe to say this man is not flying halfway around the world just to make out the numbers. He's here for the ranking points for the WBC and he's here to rip the green belt from the Tartan Tornado March the 3rd. Tickets are on sale right now for Scotland's Finest. Available from ticketmaster.co.uk Available also from 0844 844 treble 4 Prices £40, £60 and VIP in a ringside 125 plus booking fees. On the table, we have, from the far right, uh, we have Charlie Flynn. Please welcome Charlie. And next to Charlie, we have uh, Mr. Soto's manager, Antonio Lozada. Please welcome him to Scotland. Interpreting for us, because my Spanish is rubbish, please welcome Andrea Almeida. 
Uh, next we have the challenger, Buenas tardes, welcome to Scotland, bienvenido a Escocia, Humberta Soto. Uh, we move to the far left of the table. We have the man from the Gorbo, Scottish Super Bantamweight Champion, Johan. And next to Joe, we have the Celtic and IBO Intercontinental Champion, Jason Easton. Next to Jason, we have the sensational Lightning, Lee McGregor. And next to Jason, we have the champion, the Tartan Tornado, Josh Taylor. So at centre table, ladies and gentlemen, to give us his thoughts on this exciting card, we have former world champion, Hall of Famer, Mr. Barry McGuigan. Thanks, Craig. Um, delighted to be here again. This is a terrific fight. Um, and uh, we are going to the Hydro. Um, uh, so it's, it's, it's really a, a sign of where uh, Josh Taylor is at the moment. I believe he's a, one of the most exciting fighters in world boxing. Uh, tremendous talent and he's up against a tremendous opponent. Uh, just to correct you, Craig, he's three times, or three weight division world champion. He was the interim featherweight champion as well as super banta, or super featherweight and lightweight. So he's a, he's a great, great fighter. This guy's had 78 professional fights. Uh, he's one of these guys that is not uh, worn out. He is not tired. He's fresh. He's dangerous. He's only ever been stopped once by the incredibly heavy-handed Lucas Matisse. So this is a real, real fight. And um, for us, it's a gamble. But every fight at, at Josh's uh, stage in his career is a gamble. But he's in terrific condition. It's a sign of how much faith we have in him that he's fighting this guy. Uh, at this stage, and uh, we believe it will be a terrific fight. Um, the undercard is just full of talented kids. Uh, Jason Easton against Glenn Foot, my God, that's going to be a scrap and a half. Really, it's going to be very special. Um, we got this, this kid here, uh, young Lee McGregor, he's only having his third professional fight. This one is going to be a test. We're going to put him in at eight rounds, and uh, I really believe that he will be fighting for the British title before the end of the summer. Um, and uh, that's how much faith we have in him. Uh, we're going to move him aggressively. He's looking sensational in training, and it, it's uh, it's very exciting. Um, also, we got Charlie Flynn uh, on the bill. Um, uh, Josh's colleague, uh, also gold medalist um, in uh, in 2014. It was there commentating for Radio Five. Great talent. Uh, Joe Ham, of course, also a very exciting young kid. And um, we got Ian Trotter sitting down here. Ian, sorry there wasn't a table, a seat for you on the table. And we got Martin Bacoli, one of one of the finest uh, heavyweights in world boxing at the moment. And he's uh, arriving in from uh, from the Congo next week, and he's straight into training. He is a sensational talent, and he's going to go all the way, I believe, 100%. So it's a great show. It's absolutely brilliant, um, and we're thrilled to bits to be back in Glasgow. And uh, thank you for turning out. Please give us as many square inches as you can. We have a relatively short time to put this show on, so as many uh, of you square inches as, as possible makes a difference. So thank you very much for turning up today. Back to you, Craig. Thank you, Barry. Uh, well, before we, we hear from the main event, um, I'm just looking forward to getting on the show and putting on another good performance. And I was, I was doing all the boxing in my hometown, so I stay not far from it. So I'm looking forward to it. And we look forward to seeing you, uh, Joe. We move over to the far end of the table. Uh, another man who the Hydro holds sort of big, big memories for. Charlie Flynn, you're undefeated. You've got one very, very slight blemish in your record, but that was a technical draw due to an accidental head clash. That happened at the Hydro. Um, you've been plagued with a little bit of injury. You, you should have had more fights than you actually have in your record. How does it feel to be back here at the Hydro, Charlie? Oh, it's great to be back in the Hydro. <clears throat> I've had, in had injuries, ups and downs, but at the end of the day, we're back here, we're back fighting. Scotland's got the big shows. It's good, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really, really excited for this. 
Um, looking forward to putting on a good display of boxing, getting everybody back into the hydro for another great night of boxing. I really can't wait, it's going to be brilliant. Fantastic, and we look forward to seeing the mailman. Um, we turn our attention to one of our youngest members of the table. You've only had two professional fights. You've only given us three rounds. Are you going to give us a wee bit more lightning, Lee McGregor? Um, well, is this on? Hello, yeah. So, um, <laughs> now, um, hopefully I can get some more rounds. Um, we've spoke to, uh, I've spoke to Barry about my next opponent, and um, it's going to be eight rounds. Um, it's going to be a live opponent as well. There's there's someone in line. Hopefully, it can be confirmed soon. Um, and the guys, the guys going to come over here and he's going to try and beat me. It's not going to be one of the guys that have that have fought in my my first two fights. This guy's going to come and he's going to try and win. So um, I think that's when you'll see the best of me. And um, and I just I'm really excited for it. Yeah, I can't wait to get back out there. And and I know we'll go longer this time. It won't be it won't be a two round job, but one round, um, it's going to go late and um, I'm going to show all my skills on the night, so yeah, I'm excited for it. And we are too, we are look, um, living up to the name Lightning Lee McGregor, we look forward to seeing you at Hydro. Jason, Jason Easton, you've got two titles, you're going for a third, you're going for the Commonwealth, and we said quite a bit during the introduction about your opponent, um, Glenn Foote. Your toughest opponent to date, do you think? Oh yeah, by far. Um, looking looking at his last fight against George Slither, I actually thought he was winning the fight. Um, obviously got a couple of points taken off and it was a tough fight, but I still thought he was winning the fight. So I know I know he's got to come and make it um, a very hard fight for me. Yeah, I wanna thank I wanna thank Cycon for giving me this opportunity and my, my manager Bob Nelson. These these type of opportunities didn't come for people like me and neither that I grew up. The drink team more, so um, yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. And I want to thank Josh as well for getting to this level, uh, level in boxing, and, and uh, giving me his hand me things. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'll sloppy seconds. <laughs> now, um, these I've worked with Kenny for eleven, eleven years now as an amateur, and these um, I've never really had these opportunities. Uh, like an amateur, I always had ups and downs, and like at the times it's been down. Kenny said, just keep working and you'll you'll get these opportunities. So now I'm getting an opportunity there and I'll prove that I belong at this top level and uh, I'll be making sure this, this title stays back in Edinburgh, that's for sure. Jason, just before you go, for anybody, you just mentioned Kenny a couple of times. Tell yeah. us a little bit about him. Kenny McCartney there. Ah, uh, he's alright. <laughs> he's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, Jason's trainer, he's yeah, been with him since the beginning. And uh, the man behind. Uh, Kenny's done a lot for me, he knows that. And, uh, He's, he's sort of like a family member, like a brother, like a dad to me, so I really appreciate it. Thank you, Jason. We look forward to seeing you in action once again. So let's turn, ladies and gentlemen, to the main event. Let's turn to the challenger, uh, all the way from Mexico. Buenas tardes, Humberto. Um, my Spanish is, is terrible. Bienvenida, eh, Scotia. <laughs> So, can we ask you, uh, what, what do you know about Josh Taylor? Que sabes de Josh Taylor? Bueno, antes que nada, quiero darle las gracias a todos por haber asistido. First of all, I would like to thank you all for being here eh, today. Agradecido por esta invitación, por esta pelea. I'm very grateful for this invitation and for this fight. Principalmente creo que soy un peleador privilegiado. Somos, I think I am a privileged fighter. Somos millones de peleadores. There are pocos, millions of fighters. Pocos los elegidos para ser campeones del mundo. But there are very few who are chosen to be world champions. Mi dedicación, mi disciplina me llevó, me llevó a ganar tres títulos. My dedication and my discipline led me to win three titles. Y creo que esta pelea, con todo respeto, también la voy a tomar en serio. And I think that this fight, with all my respect, como, I will take it seriously. Como todo un profesional, me voy a preparar. Like a professional, I will prepare myself. Sé que Soy un extraño aquí. Eh, I know I'm a foreigner here. Voy a pelear con un peleador, se puede decir, de casa. I will fight against, let's say, a home fighter. Pero creo que la dedicación, la disciplina y el entrenamiento es el que me, me hace subir al ring y bajar con los mismos pies. But I think my dedication, my determination, my discipline makes me go into the ringside and come out of the ringside as well. Thank you. Um, well, you, you kind of answered that in 
your answer, but you've answered my next question. But I'm going to ask you, you've been at the very top level. Your motivation for this fight, what is it? Bueno, yo creo que como todas las peleas, I think the same was as for every fight. Todas tenemos motivación, pero yo creo que más cuando vas por un título del mundo. There's always motivation, especially when you go for the world championship. Antes, antes yo era uno de los cien que le querían ganar al campeón. I was one of those that everyone wants to beat. Ahora ya forjamos y hicimos eso, y ahora pues vamos a buscar otra nueva aventura de lograr otro otro más. We have already achieved that, so now we are looking forward to another adventure, just to achieve more. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Humberto. Josh Taylor, 11 and old, 10 knockouts. You made a massive statement last time out at Edinburgh. You stopped somebody who had never been stopped before. What are the plans for this fight? What do you know about this man beside you? Well, Humberto here is a, he's a great fighter. You know, he's been three-way world champion. Uh, he's been one of the best of fighters, you know. Um, great fighter, so I would just like to say thank you for coming over the long trip today to be here. Um, um, making the effort to come here, so I'd like to say thank you. Um, I've got massive respect for him. He's a great fighter, he's been a great champion. Um, and I believe um, it's, it's my time though, it's my time. His time's been, but you know, it's my time to, it's my time to shine. He's still a great fighter, still hungry, but it's my time to shine. And um, it's got the makings for a great fight. Um, I think it's going to be an all action fight and uh, one I'm very, really looking forward to and can't wait to get stuck in the training, yeah. How do you how do you see this fight? Um, long, within the distance. Yeah, I always prepare. I always prepare for a twelve round um, hard fight. So that's what I'm preparing for. Um, I've watched a few of his fights. Um, he's got a massive heart. He's a great warrior spirit. So um, I'm definitely preparing for a hard twelve round fight because I know he's a, a very very tough fighter. Thanks, Josh. Uh, Umberto, you, you've heard Josh Taylor. Do you have a response to that? Bueno, yo creo que este va a ser una gran pelea. Yo, como todos los mexicanos, venimos a dar el corazón por cuidar más del rey. I think it's going to be a great fight. Like every single Mexican, we just give our soul and our, our heart to every single thing we do. Pero lo principalmente, yo creo que ni Taylor ni Humberto Soto en ese momento van a ganar. But I think that at that point, it's not going to be Taylor or Soto who's going to win. Sino toda la gente que venga a ver una gran pelea. But all the people who come just to watch a great fight. Nice words, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to open the table if there are any um, press questions, unless you want one-to-ones. Any press questions? Okay.